this is one of the most important problem in epicyclic KXY. In this problem statement, you have to sketch the entire arrangement. There are six gears A, B, C, D, E, and F. So, first you need to sketch the arrangement. So, this is an arrangement. It looks like a little bit complex, but the entire problem how do you going to solve will depends on this arrangement then subdivision 2 you have to find the number of teeth on a and b similarly you have to find speed of gear b as well as speed of wheel b let's draw this diagram first the internal wheel a and b and the common wheel c and d rotates about axis o so this is axis o about which four gears A, B, C and D will rotate. Here C and D are common gear. A, outer gear, larger gear, then B, smaller than A. Then C and D are internal gears. So this is an arrangement. The V, E and F rotate on pin fix it to arm g so this is arm e and f are fixed on arm which means the gear e and f act as a planet gear okay now there are some conditions which are given so these conditions are very important e gears with a so this is a then e touches a so you have to draw a uh, planet gear by e, e which touch a like this then uh, e gears with a and c one side it touches a on the other side it touches gear c so this is how you have to draw so this is c and this is e then second condition f gears with b and t so this is gear F, one side it touches B and another side it touches D. So that is the condition for F gears with B and D. All the wheels have same module and the number of teeth are TC28, TD26, TE, TF18. So this is an arrangement. So this is an answer for subdivision 1. Totally. There are six gears, A and B, outer gear, C and D, common gear, E and F, planet gear. Next, subdivision 2. We need to find the number of teeth on A and B. The number of teeth on C, D, E, F given. So, we need to find a logic. So, this is a logic. Diameter of gear A. So this is gear A. D A equal to diameter of gear C plus diameter of gear E. So two times. So this is gear E. This is gear F. Both are equal. So I can write it as D A total distance from this point to this point equal to D E plus T C then tf so this tf will come like this when you move f to this point you will come like this so da equal to dc plus 2de we know that module equal to diameter divided by number of teeth m constant so diameter proportional to teeth so that i can write it as T A equal to T C plus 2 D. I can simply replace diameter by teeth. So we know that T C equal to 28, T E equal to 18, you will get 64. Similarly, we have to identify this equation. Diameter of the gear B, so distance from this point to this point, D B equal to diameter of the smaller gear td plus 
to be or to be of here or uh, diameter directly proportional to teeth tb equal to td plus 2 tf again td 46 tf 18 when you substitute you will get 62 so the answer for subdivision 2 number of teeth on gear a 64 number of teeth on gear b 62 next tabular form here first arm fixer we are giving plus one rotation to gear a because we need to find the speed of gear b finally so i am starting with gear a then arm fixer we are giving plus x rotation to a then add plus y revolution then finally total arm fixer so arm g will come fast then we are giving one plus one rotation to a so a will come next a touches with gear e so e comes next e touches with c c and d are common gear so c and d will come next then c d touches with f so f come next finally p so this is what we need to find finally n p arm fixer so this is zero we are giving plus one rotation to a so this is plus one first we will fix the direction a touches with e a and e this is a this is e a and e external contact e external contact means plus minus minus plus internal contact means plus plus minus minus a and e are internal contact so whatever the sign of a will retained in e so this is plus because internal contact plus plus minus minus so plus plus e contacts with cd e and c are external contact it like this e and this is c c and e are external contact which means if e plus then c minus then next b contact with f again this is b this is f both are external contact it comes like this b f so if c minus then f plus then finally f contact with b so this is b both are internal contact then plus means plus so this is a sign so hereafter we should not worry about sign next i am going to find speed of the gear e n e touches with n a n e divided by n a equal to opposite t a divided by t e again n a plus 1 so this is plus 1 so n e equal to t a by t e so here t a by t e will come again plus sign will be used next gear n c we need to find speed of n c here n c touches with n e here n c touches with n e equal to t e divided by t c what is n e here this is n e so i can write t a by t e so this value here So now I can cancel E on both sides. So this is TA by TC. So TA by TC. We can retain the minus sign here. There is no need to take sign from previous value. While writing NE also, you should take only the magnitude, not the direction. I mean plus minus. Next, NF. NF 
divided by n f touches with n d n d equal to t d divided by t f again what is the value of n d this is n c n d both are same n c n d both are same t a by t c we should take only the magnitude not direction so here t a by t c will come so this is a value t a by t c into t d by t f again we will retain this sign plus here then finally n b n b touches with n f n f equal to t f divided by t b again what is n f this is n f T A T C into T D by T F. We can write it here. T A divided by T C into T D divided by T F. So I can cancel T F on both sides. So finally, T A by T C, T D by T B. So this is what we get. We can retain the plus sign. So these values are same. So, this is how we can find the first row of the table. Second row, we are simply multiplying first row by plus x. This is plus x. Multiply 0, x, x t a by t. Similarly, you will get minus x t a by t c and remaining values. Then add plus y revolution to all the rows. That's it. Finally, we need to add these two. Row 2 and 3. Y, X plus Y, Y plus X T A by T E, Y minus X T A by T C, then remaining value. Now we completed table. Next, I'm going to solve um, the subdivision 3. Subdivision 3, arm G makes 100 rpm clockwise n g minus 100 clockwise means minus a fix it i need to find n b let us take this condition to table n g y equal to minus 100 n a equal to 0 so x plus y equal to 0 from that y x equal to minus y y already minus 100 then minus y means 100 so now we know that x and y value x 100 y minus 100 we need to find out n b what is n b b n b equal to y plus x t a by t c into t d by t b we know all the values of teeth substitute from the problem statement y minus 100 x 100 when you reduce this term you will get minus 4.2 rpm which means 4.2 rpm clockwise minus represent clockwise subdivision 4 if arm G makes 100 rpm clockwise, N G 100 rpm clockwise. Clockwise means minus wheel A makes 10 rpm. Counterclockwise means plus. What is the speed of gear B? N G minus 100, N A 10 rpm, N B we need to find. N A, this is N A. 10 rpm x plus y 10 y minus 100 from that x equal to 10 minus y then 10 minus y equal to plus 100 so you will get 110 now we need to find out b n b equal to y plus x t a by t c t d by t b substitute teeth values then y minus 100 x 110 you will get 5.4 rpm positive which means counter clockwise speed up gear b equal to 5.4 rpm clockwise counter clockwise